The other thing is, Mike, I think, you know, so, okay, everybody automatically has the Cardinals 32nd. That's the easiest, uh, it's the easiest team to project. But, you know, the bottom line in this whole thing is by the end of the year, by midseason, we're going to see that there's a lot of lousy teams. There is every year. That's just the way it goes. And nobody wants to even admit the possibility on September 1st that their team is going to stink. A lot of teams stink because they stink every year. And so everybody needs to have a tabula rasa effect and wipe the slate clean and say, who knows what's going to happen? And yeah, we can love. I can, I can think the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions and the Seahawks and some of these teams that are have been regarded as middling teams maybe through the offseason, I think are going to be better than middling and maybe a lot better. But it all doesn't matter. We're all throwing darts. We're all taking guesses. But somebody's going to be the 31st team. And, you know, stop throwing stones at people who say your team might be the 31st team because you know what? It might be. And as we get closer to the start of the season, it's amazing. The voices get louder. The venom gets more potent. We were talking about the AFC East the other day, and I dared to mention there's a possibility the way this plays out, the Bills end up in fourth place. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. You would think that I have committed some sort of sacrilege on their field or, you know, the, <laughs> you know that, I've, that I've defiled Thurman Thomas's uniform in some way. I mean, Somebody's going to finish in fourth place, and nobody wants to hear now. Patriots fans don't want to hear it. Bills fans don't want to hear it. Jets fans don't want to hear it. De- Jets fans definitely don't want to hear it. And Dolphins fans don't want to hear that there's four of you, and you're, you're all pretty good, and the Patriots still have Bill Belichick last time I checked, and one of you is going to finish in fourth, and you ain't going to be happy about it then, and you're definitely not happy about being reminded of the possibility now, and I think that's what it comes down to. Peter, everybody wants to get – to get swept away by the idea that we got a chance this year. Hey, look, I sat down yesterday because my column on Monday is going to be, here's my Super Bowl pick. Honestly, it's pretty easy in the NFC for me without giving away trailers or whatever that, whatever I'd be, spoilers. But in the AFC, and I'm dead serious about this, I, I have looked at it 15 times. And, you know, one I, I, I get up and go and have dinner uh, last night with Ann, and, and, and I said, okay, I'm picking Buffalo. And then I say, well, wait a second, wait a second. I, I, don't, I don't like picking the team, you know, that won it last year because too seldom a team wins it two years in a row. Um, and so, it, and then I think, man, you know, if Burrow's calf is okay, I got to pick the Bengals. They were so good at the end of last year. Fluky loss, whatever, and all that. But, and I could pick, I, I could pick the Jets. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't go into the season horrified if I picked the Jets. They might really be good with that defense. But, but anyway, I don't have a great idea right now as I sit here at 744 on Friday having to write the column this weekend, I don't have a great idea of who I'm going to pick to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. So I'm asking you for your advice. When in doubt, ride with Mahomes. That's my advice. Because we've seen it too many times now. Five years as a starter, he finds a way to pull a rabbit out of his hat and or his butt down 10 points in the Super Bowl with seven minutes left, they win. Down 10 points in the Super Bowl in the second half, they win. Tough situation against the Bengals. It felt like Cincinnati was going to drive down the field and win. Chiefs win. There's just something about that that I think continues to grow. And when you get back to the postseason this time, the Chiefs are going to be even more confident of their ability, no matter what adversity they face, to win. And eventually, Peter, I think it has an effect on the other team. Thinking, oh, God. Here he goes again. Here it comes. So, and even then, even 19 then. Year, 19 knows. years, Mike. 19, 19 years. All, all good something, things must come to an end. Something always happens. Yeah. All and good things could. must come if to an end. Gonna, it's time. If anybody's going to beat it, if, if anybody's going to beat it, it'll be Mahomes. But, man, I, 
that's a that's a long time without a repeat winner. That's all I'll say. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.